Good morning and welcome to Vlog World 2018, day two. Now you're wondering what happened to day one. Well, day one was April Fool's Day and we did not tape. We are, however, going to put up the empties video from March today, so you still have some viewing for April 1st, but we're starting Vlog World on day two as opposed to day one. I am in the cyclone hurricane that is my office slash um, makeup room where things have gotten very chaotic over a busy March. The uh, due date for the book has gone by and I still haven't finished, but it's all cool. Um, that is a very common occurrence with writers and publishers. Uh, but I am going to get some writing done today after I take my shower, get this place straightened out a little bit. Mama Denise has been legoing like a crazy woman and I'm sure she will show you all that. Quick health update. Um, at this point, I am 47 pounds down. Fell off the wagon during a very horrible flu. Of the flu that took out the end of um, vlog roll. Vloguary, yeah. I should say. Um, it was it was just super bad. A really bad flu. Um, but back on the wagon now. All is going well. And I am going to let Mama Denise say hello. Because you haven't seen her in a little while. Hi, hey, everybody. Hope you have a good Easter. <laughs> um, I know it's been a while since I've been on camera, so um, yeah, I'll show you all the Lego stuff. Um, today I'm, I'm going to try to arrange, rearrange, configure, reconfigure our uh, living space out there. That's brave. Not sure if it's brave or stupid, but because you know, as you know, it's a tiny little box and the kitchen is in the middle of it. So. <laughs> Um, I take my hat off to you, Mama Denise, and uh, look forward to seeing what you come up with. There might be some damages. There might be some lost dog. Okay, keep Make sure you keep an eye where the dogs are. I don't want to squish them. So I thought I'd give you a little panoramic view of this is what it looks like now. I mean, you've seen it plenty of time in a lot of vlogs that we do and other videos, but this is what it looks like. My plan is to rearrange it so it's uh, more user-friendly somehow the dogs don't care as long as they don't get squishied oh they are funny right now they're fighting like that's pearl's couch as you can tell she doesn't like it when her brothers and i'm just going to sit on him they've adopted two of our new pillows from the couch these couch pillows are not very they're very thin so we put them on pearl's couch and bruiser's couch so um lately they've been fighting if if one's in this the other one wants to be in it and then equally problematic over here I've had two rounds before, got rid of one, and now they, with one's in it, the other one anyway, wants it. So this is what we got. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the Lego since I've got you here. So here's what my setup is. You saw me building this one. I took you, I showed you daily a vloguary, the diner. That's the newest piece, uh, the little chickley in her car. Um, so I brought out, I went up to the locker, and I brought out... The pieces that I did have already built um, years ago and it's just been in locker so I brought out my Shea Albert restaurant so I put that out of that uh, I had my pets in my uh, residential building um, and I put look at this little I should be able to get it that little dog came with actually the diner so I put it in its little wagon there with uh, a mama coming from the pet stop shop and uh, so I put it together and I sadly I can't put all of it together um, because well this is the, the space I have but um, this is the other newest the piece that I built it's the town square it's the, one of their older pieces that was hard to find but Mama Candy found it and so I built it and it's from this piece here over so <clears throat> that, that's uh, the town assembly Put the cops there having a cup of joe together i had a lot of figurines left over from previous sets so i just kind of put them in um all around the town the city so anyway this is what i got the little rabbit oh, that's cute that's that's mama candy she wants to be in the in the motif so my little rabbit is over by the tv um so isn't this cute like the little flower shop in there Got a little cafe. Just makes you want to go over in this little bakery with the cake in the front window. I got. I, I will be getting some lights. I'm still trying to figure out what lights I want to put in there. Very, very delicate, soft light. Um, 
and then I uh, re I just built this l last night. This is the bank I've been wanting. This also uh, it's not new, but it's been it's been around for a bit. I got, I try to put it up here. I, I, I'm like a, a millimeter off of it actually fitting. So um, I put it down here by itself right now. And it's, it's gorgeous. Look at the detail. Uh, inside is just so cool too. There's a chickie behind the desk. Let's move her out of the way for a second. Open the doors. The vault door that's in the back there that opens. It's just it's a very cool set. Uh, I won't open take it apart in right now to show you because I got no space to do that. And uh, and then there's on the side here is a uh, laundry place. So it's just very cool. Um, and then the light. So of course I can't put it all together because when the like it's, it looks so cool if I can jam them all together in one big city block. Then over here is um a brand new piece as well for me i just built um which is like a pool hall got it on both sides uh there's a detective office up top and um, down here is called the highlander it's a little pub um and even look a newspaper you want a newspaper you open that up and there's a couple newspapers in there detail is fantastic um you know of course this is from like scooby-doo so i had some uh, she had, a, you know, the two women that, um, I, know, I can't remember the names, Daphne and somebody else. Oh, I forget, forget, forget the names. Anyway, I used to watch Scooby-Doo when I was a kid, but, um, those were given to me, so I thought I'd put them in for the, in the detective office part. A uh, little water tower on top. It's just the incredible pieces. And then there is, I got an apartment above, um, and then Al's the barber shop, you know, extra little hair pieces in the window, and someone's in the barber chair getting the clip. Um, little chicky riding by on her bike. So I just added all those pieces. This is my, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. And this is the theater. I love this piece. I've had this for a long time. It's one of my first pieces. And uh, that's what's playing right now. Three clicks and a snap. And the inside, uh, it's 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 just beautiful. So I, you know, at some point I'll probably take off the levels and show you. There's uh, the pay windows and dude opening a door. And this car goes with it, um, dropping off a celebrity going in. And then you got the little movie lights. You know when you those saying that what's you know you see them in the air in big cities when there's a movie or a show playing anyway so that's what i have for the city so yeah when it when you put it all together because you got these corner pieces so you can create quite a city block or two but that's all my city creator pieces also too up top oh my candy got i was so excited to get this it's the women of nasa lego uh, so there's Nancy Roman, and it, it, they, it, it's basically what what they've contributed and what they've been doing for NASA. Um, and then you got um, Margaret Hamilton, the math whiz, mathematician, and you got May Jameson or Jemison and Sally Ride. So uh, I had to have those pieces for sure. And I, beside them, of course, I put my uh, the Ghostbusters. All women set right up there. So I put them up there. So this is like the power women level there. And on top of that, I moved over here, setting up for my summer theme. Um, so, and I put all chiclets in there too. So I got a windsurfing chicky. I got two chickies in a canoe. Uh, the beach house with the beach car. And uh, I got the camper van, got that opened right now, and a cheeky paint playing guitar. So that's my uh, camping, Canada camping theme. Well, I'll just give you a quick little look to show you what I have, but I'm so excited to have all my, all my Lego now out. I still have Lego um, that is uh, for specific, like I got more, I got Christmas Lego, 
and I have Halloween Lego, which I never got the Halloween Lego out this year because I couldn't find it. Now I know where it is in, in the locker, so for Halloween season I'll bring it out. It's a big, uh, um, I think that's where the Scooby and, actually that's where the Scooby and that came from because it's actually Scooby-Doo Halloween Haunted House thing. Anyway, so um, come Halloween, I'll show you that. Now it's time to see what I can do in here with this arranging. Hello, welcome to vlog roll day three. There's Miss Thing giving you her peace sign. Uh, she'll show you, she did an incredible job in the living room yesterday. She got it totally revamped and we both love it. It is now Tuesday morning after the long weekend and we are headed down to Rancho Fantastico Post, which is a sound studio where we are taping the new podcast, Sweet Talk with Candy Palmiter. And I'm very excited because today's guest is Mark Tewksbury, a great Canadian Olympian whose gold medal I got to wear once, which was amazing. Um, and so far the lineup has been amazing. Biff Naked, Tom Wilson, Liz Rinsetti, uh just a really great Jean-Paul, lots of great conversations. I think it's gonna launch May. Um, that's what we're aiming for. It'll be 12 episodes in the first season, one episode per, per week. So make sure that you are subscribed at thecandyshow.com. That's where you'll find out how to pick the podcast up and uh yeah so april is crazy and busy so we will vlog but can't guarantee the uploads will be daily but we will definitely keep you with us in all the fun stuff we're doing this month right mama right mama. This is what the studio looks like when we get it set up. Um, the table, so Candy sits here. So this is, uh, we're using this logo right now, our Candy Show brand, um, until we get our Sweet Talk logo created. And then the guest sits here, and then the control room is through there. You can see Candy sitting back there waiting, waiting for our next guest, which is Mark Tewksbury coming in. And it's nice and cozy little, and I usually film I, I capture some of the uh, some of the talk in this room, and um, that well, just just to have it. I'm not sure what we're doing with it yet, but just have to catch a bit of it uh, visual. So we might do something on YouTube down the road uh, once the podcast airs. But uh, I have to capture a little bit of uh, um, the visual effect, as you will, when it comes to all of our lovely guests that we're having on Sweet Talk. So just thought I'd show you the room before the guests come in. Um, I'm not putting any guests on vlog right now, but this is the room, and then this is where the sound engineer sits here. And there's John and Candy and Tennyson. Um, there's, uh, John is the owner of Rancho Fantastico. Tennyson is our sound engineer uh, for the show. So yeah. Now, I'm going to head out here. It's a great studio. Kitchen's that way. And then that's where the guests come in and I'm going to have my coffee. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Kitty beep. Ba da 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 da. Hey there. Um, welcome to. Vloguary day whatever, vlog roll day whatever, I don't even know, day, day five. five. I guess this one's going to go up as like a little first week chunk. I just pulled this out of my stash in terms of shopping my stash. I came to the bottom of my Orbe texturizing spray and I realized I've had this for, I don't know, a year and a half, never tried it. It's Bumble and Bumble City Swept Finishing Spray, Supple Hold Finishing Spray, creates lived in street styled locks. Do I look street styled? Does my hair look street style? That's right. <laughs> anyway, it, just to give it a little bit of oomph, and it does, I think, give a light hold as well. So, gig today, mid noon, heading down to it. Uh, as I said, we are going to vlog as best we can, but my book is overdue right now. So, I am in the negotiating with my editor for like, why don't I give you two chapters this week and then two chapters next week and that whole thing? So, but we'll let you see the writing process as well. Right now I'm going to straighten these hips out so that I have a little bit of time to chill that out and then we will be off to the gig. And Denise is coming so she'll get a little bit of 
footage. It is an indigenous education conference, and I am speaking at 12.30. Indigenous, and you are teaching Native Studies in particular. I was a former. <laughs> um, I was also, I've been in this building a couple times before, so my wife, who manages me, was worried about me coming up the front steps. And I said, better to come up the front steps than the elevator in this building because it is extremely small and I am claustrophobic. So, in fact, when, when Lisa is booking me, she tells clients, Please don't put her on a, on a high floor because elevators make her uncomfortable. Where is she be? Hello. So we are back home. It is 5.20. I've put my pajamas on already, but I haven't taken my lashes, my makeup off. I'll do that shortly. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on the No Buy 2018. I'd say I'm, I'm happy with how it's going. I've had a couple of slips. Makeup, zero. No slips. The only things I have bought cosmetically have been lashes, which I wear for work on the regular, um, and my Alpha Beta Hydroxy Pads, which if you watch the empties, you know that I was completely out. So I ended up buying, I said I would tell you, I ended up buying the, the usual daily Alpha Beta Hydroxy Pads by Dr. Dennis Gross. And then I also bought those ones that you use like maybe three times a week. And on the nights that I use those, I don't use the daily ones. And I'm happy with how that's working. So that's all that I've done cosmetically. I have bought a couple of books, but I wouldn't call it going off the wagon because they're really kind of researchy type books leading into what I'm doing and what I'm writing right now. Uh, I did, though, which just arrived today and it's totally off the wagon, was... Um, Royal Albert came out with some really cute mugs for Easter. I made a purchase. But in three months, I'm not too, I'm not too freaked out considering the way that I spend on the regular. And all those new palettes and all that new stuff came out from Sephora. And some one of you sent me a link on Instagram that Kat Von D for 10 years of her company is putting out the train cases again. I saw that. And I'm holding strong, I didn't do it, so. I feel good. I still I feel good. We are uh, we were just kind of looking at vehicles tonight and thinking about what we we're gonna get, and yeah, overall feeling feeling like it's it's going well. So I just thought I'd give you an update because I haven't spoke to you in like a month and a half. Um, Denise is gonna put the empties video up now. We are gonna shut this down early tonight because I want to get changed. We got some stuff to do, um, and give you a little something to watch until we uh, film again. Hi everybody. Ooh, ooh, height. Got still, some height happening. Still beautiful though. Um, I, I will show you tomorrow uh, how I, I, I gave you the 360 of what our uh, living space was and then what I did uh, to kind of convert it into something that's more livable and that all four of us uh, like it, the two pups and Mama Candy and me. And I'll show that to you tomorrow. I'll have a little, it's not tidied up right now. Uh, we got blankets everywhere and stuff, but I, I'll tidy it up. I'll show you tomorrow. So that's it for this version of the vlog, and uh, we'll try to get a daily one up again tomorrow, but tune in. Tune in. Thanks for yeah. sticking with us. Yeah. <laughs>